I'm going to put you to work. Because Hire you. Right. Right. I need everything, but... I have Mark doing it. Everything should be here. Jay, I don't remember what I was going to ask you. Did you hear the shot? I told you one. Okay. This will not be reviewed. It's like a new one. I don't know what the address is, but it's back there. You know, the kennel is on the one. That little road goes back there. Where the kennel is. It's just a little bit back there. It's on the other side. I don't know what the street is. The kennel is. It's on the west side. It's been two years. It's a discussion. It's got those little, it's got this. several little buildings. Little so that oh, some trees. I was just wondering what they did, but I was curious. Is that a mechanic? Just so we can know. No, no, no. This is all paper and visuals. Well, you have to make sure. Oh, the question is, if there's three of them, yes. When they get done over there, they should go for tax break. No. Is it all be done by 5 o'clock? Yeah, because last year, I got on the other side. Last year. Did you go down to the meeting? Did you go down to the and on the left hand side there's a cow and that's the big sign out front and then just the next street down is this it's, there's yeah, a street, well, in fact, it goes in front of the okay. kennel. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know what the yes. name of that is street is. But it would be on the other side okay, of that no. the opposite exactly. of the kennel is. And there's like three or four little people. buildings. I think they got fence around. That's what I struggle with. I see a lot of babies. Well, I don't know. They call them. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure. It's before you get to the building. It's in between Phil's and the... It's in between Phil's and the... Yes, sir, man. Well, it's a bold and filled, but it's on the side. Yeah, and it's on the same side as the tower. Right, west side of the street. We have to start wearing the windows right now. Yeah, and I remember doing it a couple years ago when I came to the world. It's a good way to it. I did. That's all right. I'm going to send you a phone number. Call Eric and tell him to come to you. Good. Call this guy and send text your number. Call him and tell him to come to you. I got it all. Hi. I know you do.
I don't think one down. 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 But I don't think one down. I don't think one down. I don't think one down. For some reason, I think it would go well, like the master plan. The master plan did. We would make a recommendation to Tom. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah, that's right. Good. Let's get it. Get, yeah, Dave, that. Yeah. Uh, we, we do. Uh, I found uh, uh, the in the 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 that might be there. I guess the first one would be to add to the agenda the communication uh, that Debbie distributed. This is in regards to parliamentary procedure. It's just a oh, little okay. tutorial. One of the things, we'll discuss okay. it maybe a little bit later in communications. Um, we're looking to possibly set up training for both ourselves and for the township board members to do some training on parliamentary procedure. Great. So I'd like to add this as a communications to the agenda, this is the parliamentary procedure uh, guidebook. And Marla, you mentioned you had a couple communications. Yeah, I would like to add a couple discussion items. Okay. Um, about uh, the master plan implementation, and then also uh, the site plan questionnaire. Master plan. I'm sorry. Implementation. Implementation. And yeah. then the site. Plan questionnaire. Questionnaire. Anyone else? <coughs> okay, with that, I'd like to make a motion to approve the agenda with the addition of communications for parliamentary procedures and discussion items related to parliamentary procedure training, master plan implementation. And site plan questionnaire. Yeah, I will uh, make a motion to. You second that? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah. He made the motion, you can second Okay, it. you made the motion. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll second it. <laughs> All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Agenda's approved with the addition of the items mentioned. We have the minutes uh, before us from the meeting May 3rd. Had a chance to review or any additions, corrections, or a motion to approve as submitted. I'll make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second. Minutes I'll, third. I'll second it. All right. We have a motion to approve. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. The minutes from the May 3rd meeting has been approved. This is open to the public. Any comments regarding the agenda items? All right. Hearing none. <clears throat> Talked about our communications and the item before you. We'll talk. Pick that back up under discussion items. 
committee reports, I think is the purpose of our meeting tonight, is to discuss the master plan that's out of committee now and for our review. There is no public hearing. There are no new business. And before us tonight is the item of old business and the rec plan. First, okay. I'd like to thank the members of the uh, committee that spent a lot of time and effort and helping to put this together. So thank you, Mara, thank you, Glenn, and thanks to the board members who participated in that. So for the record, can you mention who they were? They are yeah. um, Teresa, if I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't mind. They are Mara, Glenn, Diane, Diane Scheib Snyder, and Mr. Plutus. Thank you. Yep. And with that, I will turn the floor over to Mr. Noble. He'll give us an overview okay. of the draft yeah. plan. Okay, you have a you have a copy of the draft plan. It's basically basically the same as the one that was developed in 2010, but never approved or submitted to the board. Um, it has been rearranged in its content. Uh, I'd like to just point out two uh, significant items. Um, Mara did a good summary of the uh, the the, the, uh, uh, phone, uh, the tabulation survey we, we had for people. And on page on page uh, forty-two, um, she sort of summarized what the citizens respondents to the survey. Uh, with a percent of people that, that know the specific items. And the predominant thing was that 66% um, responded to the nature trails, 45% selected fishing, and there's some more other categories there. So that's, that's one thing you should uh, review and consider. Uh, the only other two items that I thought were, were significant that we needed a better upgrading on was there's a map on page uh, 16 of 59 that shows the uh, floodplain, and it's a little smaller scale, but the significant thing, it shows the 100-year uh, reoccurring flood and the 500-year reoccurring flood as it impacts the township. So a little larger scale would, uh, would help not only the Planning Commission, but also the, uh, the Planning Commission, but also recreation and the uh, select lands. Yeah, I went ahead and already did that, so that map yeah. is now a full page. It's, okay, good. Yeah. I, I brought it to bed on data. Exactly. Page. And then the other one on page uh, 17 uh, is a very small map yeah. that shows the natural features of Oakland County uh, with my hope that uh, we could have a full-scale map of the natural features in, in, in Rose Township because that's what <coughs> it comes to future development. Uh, that's going to be the real key. That's yeah, going to be part of the development. I went ahead and did that already. Too. Good. Okay. So, so it's so already. It just good. didn't get just. Yeah, I, I mentioned it today. He said he's going to get a hold of you. Yeah. Uh, and then the main thing, the main thing in the back of the the implementation of the Parks and Recreation Plan is well described in the back, and the new administration uh, is definitely uh, will be budgeting money to implement that. The plan, the implementation plan, is pretty well generally the same in 2010, but nobody put any money for it. So Diane is starting to assign money in the budget for implementation. So with that, I'll throw it over to Myra, and she might, might be some other features that she wants to bring out. Yeah, just in terms of process, um, I mean, everything was gone through. Um, you'll know some of the like partnerships and things. Um, I elected to remove website addresses that were in like the 2010 just because I went to them and a lot of them weren't accurate and I thought you know in this day and age of Google you can find things easily so those aren't uh, in there um, so all, all those I, I mean I basically went to every website to make sure those were all up to date and changed or whatever so everything was pretty much looked at and then um, the uh, Brian from LSL Safe Belt uh, took a look at it and double checked it that it met the requirements for future DNR grants. So it has all the 
different categories that are needed for any potential grants. And then also a SEMCOG representative, uh, Tyler, I think his name was, um, also went through it, and he was the one that provided us with some really nice up-to-date maps that specifically of Rose Township, and those are the ones actually like on page 16 uh, that was provided by SEMCOM. So it's up-to-date, it's as new as you can get. So the only change in the release is just the format or the size? Yeah, Those exactly. Right. So yeah. It was only, that's the only difference. That was the only thing that I went ahead because uh, uh, Dave had mentioned that Glenn and I totally agreed with that. So mm -hmm. I just went ahead and did okay. it. I figured um, so if this is proactive. So what will be go before the public, pages 16 and 17 are the Which maps? Which is full size. Full that's size. the only difference, yeah. yeah. Right, exactly. What was the other uh, change you suggested? No, I, I, that, that was the only... Those two? Yeah, okay. yeah. But I just want to emphasize the implementation. <clears throat> is the the present administration looking. is going to start assigning money, money to those tasks, which were never done in the past. Mm -hmm. So we, we show, so there should be some visible action uh, at, at the uh, Dearborn Park and also the uh, the Rose Ponds. And as you mentioned, Laura, this is required by both state and federal for any funding or grants related to well certain you know, sections are um, yeah yeah not everything but the, the i think it was the semcog man mentioned that it's pretty much with grants they end up going right to the implementation implementation section that's kind of what they go to so yeah. so i know i've made sure that i added in some concluding comments and stuff that tried to summarize everything okay it's i'm just trying to determine the, va the value of this document is related to not only the, the planning okay. aspect of things, but also potential funding for yes, resources. Yes, yeah, yes. Exactly. If we have a grant, this has to be, this is, this is part right. of it. Like things like the organization chart, uh, you know, there's a bunch of little requirements. So yeah, I, I went through that. I looked through Springfield Township's plan. I went to Oakland County's plan and kind of made sure that we had all the same kind of sections and that they worded things a certain way. That uh, that sounds pretty good. Made sure our wording was similar. And so. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Let's first pass. Yeah. So in essence, we'd we'd like to have the this board uh, approve it or set it set it what take over you set it up for. Uh, Public hearing. For public right? review. Okay. So thank you very much for that summary and for the description of the process, I guess, and the value of the document. Um, so the action tonight would be for us to either make any changes that we see and recommend and or uh, basically approve it as is for submittal to uh, for a public hearing in July. So the, the process is we review it, we then put it for a public review next month for a public hearing, and then be after the close of that public hearing and any comments and adjustments that the public would like to make, we would take action for adoption or a recommendation to the Township Board for next month. Mm -hmm. So the only thing tonight is I'll open up the floor for any comments or suggestions or changes, or we could look for a motion to... Basically, accept and request that it be put before the public in a public hearing. Um, I, I just want to make a comment because the 4th of July is Wednesday and July 5th would be our meeting <laughs> Thursday oh. the following day. So I, I don't know if that's a good, de good time for a public hearing on this because of, I, that's my only okay. comment. A lot of people go away since right. it's right no, in it's the middle of the week, and if we want good public comment, that might be. Yeah, which yeah, actually, the, the, uh, we did have a plan in place in 2010 that was adopted and expired March of 27 or 2018, and so it wouldn't take effect until March of 2019 anyway. So there's not a deadline we have to worry about. Either. Okay. So yeah, so it's it, a month here isn't going to be around. Okay. Good things. Good. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, I thought oh, yeah. the July was on Wednesday, and I just wanted to make... <laughs> well, I think no, I, I, actually, I am. I'll probably be doing hay, but, you know. <laughs> I have no plans to really go away anywhere. So. 
All right. So with that, anyone, any comments related to who, who is going to be like in charge of this, the parks? I mean, is on page 50 or 49 of 59, there's a whole list of things <coughs> that, you know, you can get people involved in. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the central figure that does all that? Uh, well, Diane, Diane, Diane is, is uh, probably be co co coordinating it. She's trying to coordinate something in the Dearborn Park and, Deer and Rose Ponds. Uh, I, I guess you're going to have to look to the Parks and Recreation Committee. That's a good point. Yeah, well, under the, we'll each of those categories, you. it has the responsible party listed. Those but I, I, I think he, he's got a valid point, though. Some, right. some live person oh, has yeah. to be a point on. So, so it's that's, so that, that's a point. Somebody's we'll, got to be the ringleader. Yeah, that's something we'll yeah. bring up for the. Uh, we'll have a Parks and Recreation exactly. Committee meeting and uh, get back to that question. Valid question. Mm -hmm. Great job, Byron. No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> well beyond any of our school. <laughs> well, this, this tested hey, my it did, computer. Yeah. It saved us having that L and L and L do a lot of routine work, so yeah, and rearrange it so Mara's got a good pulled together in a proper manner. Help. Help. Thank you, Carlton. Township save money. Oh yeah, certainly. Are you used for parking rack? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sure. Well, <laughs> Hearing no comments, I would make a motion to, on behalf of the Planning Commission, to accept this draft as submitted and uh, present it for the public hearing, the next scheduled available public hearing, which at this point looks like it would be in August. Second. Okay. So we have a motion to approve on behalf of the Township Planning Commission and to present for a public hearing at the next available hearing. I'll so second. You mentioned about the, those additions that we talked about, the larger maps and pages. Well, no, no, because those are already done and those are being done. submitted yeah. to the public. Okay. Those yeah. changes yeah. have been made. Could we get blown up maps and hang down here when the during the public? Well, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah. Any anything where we can show them something. Yeah. Correct. Or we could do a, a PowerPoint. Uh, just something they can walk up to and look at. Mm -hmm. I, that's a good idea, Mark. So we'll make yeah. a note to do to have some of the documentation in a in a viewable format, yeah. and then have LSL. Are they going to be part of this process? Yeah. They, okay. Uh, so it would be LSL. Have them provide twenty four by twenty six. I know in the past hard copies, the, I guess. the planner would present to the public yeah. the value of the document, what's in it. Well, I think we've got to be specific about what we want to hang, hang <coughs> up. So. Right. All right. I guess uh, so. What we really need is the Dearborn Park. Well, let's let's uh, work on. There's a motion on the okay, table okay, okay. with a second. Um, any discussion to that motion, which is to adopt as presented in the draft and present to the public hearing at the next available public hearing meeting. August, yes. which would be August second. And. It's been seconded. Second. That's right. So we'll call okay. for it. Hearing no discussion. Look for a roll call vote, please. Mrs. Lynn? Yes. Mrs. Young? Yes. Mr. Boland? Yes. Mr. Klaus? Yes. Mrs. Stanzik? Yes. Mr. Noble? Yes. Mr. Brooks? Yes. Motion carries to present this to the public hearing on the August 2nd meeting. So with that, I'll open it back up um, for suggestions as to how to when we do have a public hearing, how to make that as productive and valuable as possible. So Mark's suggestions are to create at least some of the maps in a presentable fashion so the public can view them. Yeah, really good idea. I, I get a map for all three parks and six pages, pages 16 and 17. 
three parks so the public can see those and the, the, the uh, so you drive by Rose, Michigan National you Features. You drive by Rose Ponds. All you see is the sun. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what's there. <laughs> Everything else is grown. Yeah. 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 Grown over it. But the aerial does show some significant things that can be done, so yeah. we can point those out. Yeah. Okay, so uh, potential natural features map and the wetlands, open water, and flood things. Okay. Let's make a note here. So I'll work with Dave to get that done. And again, we'll ask LSL to be prepared to present to the public what this is about. All right, very good. Thank you. And again, thanks to the committee members for all their time and effort and on behalf of the township and the citizens and for saving us money by reducing the, uh, the chargeable services from the planner. All right, so we have no tabled items. So we have a couple of discussion items. Um, as mentioned earlier, I'll start with the uh, parliamentary procedure. In, in each of our meetings, um, we follow Robert's rules of orders to conduct the meetings. And or, I guess in my mind, parliamentary procedure is kind of an interchangeable word with Robert's rules of orders. Is that correct, right. Debbie? Yeah. 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 So Debbie's kind of heading this up, and thank you, Debbie, for taking time to help help make all of us better members and uh, more productive in our meetings. So um, I guess I, I kind of open it up to you, Debbie. You can talk a little bit about what you've done in terms of research, the potential training that's available, and maybe we can discuss about some times or periods that might work for everyone. I need to talk to the board, too, because I was trying to make a joint training course. What dates or nights do you want Saturday? What's most convenient for you guys? And then I'm going to go back and talk to the board and see what their schedules are. Okay. Um, and I just think I emailed you. It's $125 you an hour and then plus my lunch. Okay. Um, any of the handouts, I get copies of. Do you use some to review? That's what's in the handout I can do. Some is mine, some are hers. And it's Coco. Okay. She was very good. She gave a course for the Open County Clerks. Mm. Okay. So that information is what <clears throat> I brought back. And it was just beneficial. You can always learn something new. That's right. I'm think, always trying to improve meetings. So. Yeah, I think all Deb's trying to do is keep everybody on track all the time. <laughs> well, somebody's going to do it. Well, yes. Yeah, if she doesn't try to keep everybody on track, if they start falling off the tracks. A few of us are fresh or green, so we could use a little training to understand. Yeah, I, I you know, after doing this. <laughs> so, so that's all so, I wanted so to the, know was what your schedules. I know Reese is busy with the coming up, and oh boy, can we do it on a rain day, Trees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can figure that <laughs> out. <laughs> right. Be good. Just pick a day. I mean, I, I, I know. It's kind of during the week. Do you want a Friday? Do you want a Saturday? Um, so Thursday and Fridays are bad for me, but I can put anywhere else. Is it an all-day thing, or is it an evening thing? No, it'll thing? just be, you know, she would come in, if it's an evening, it would probably be like 6 to 8, something like that. Yeah. An evening would probably be better. After yeah, work? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Evening, evening, everyone? After work? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 7 o'clock. Oh, after supper or after work? Okay. So evening, that works. Now evening. we just, how about... When like July is always, you know, we're in summer. That, that makes it difficult. Mm -hmm. How about August after the election? Would that be? I don't think that would good. be too late. Is that that's yeah. what you're asking? Yeah. I think August. Yeah. Would that be okay? It gives us enough time to just Something put else, it out right? there as a marker. During the weekday would be better. At least. I agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, why don't we keep yeah. the same routine as the uh, the, the nights we have? Yeah. Same. Uh, every every Thursday, Thursday night, same we have, we have a planning commission meeting. No? The same night that we have. Not the same night, but okay. on the third. Just on the Thursday. Keep that's the thing rhythm Thursday going. Night. Okay. Okay. And so it's possibly really hot out. the what would it, is the second is the next public well, the so the ninth then potentially. Does that work? Well, that's a oh wait, the next year. That's May. I'm looking at me. 
Well, if August second, we're, we're talking about August. If August second is the, the is a Thursday no, no, planning no. commission meeting, then, then do it. seven days is August ninth. Right. 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 But when's the election? The sixth. The sixth. Oh. Yeah. So. Um, so the ninth. But it's up to six. Okay, yeah. 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 I would do the following week. Up. They ain't going to fly. Yeah. <laughs> so the sixteenth. Sixteenth. Yeah. 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 Okay. Six. Let's shoot for that. I'm we'll on. put it out and see if everybody. Yeah, see what everybody yeah. does. I think, like Teresa, we pick a day and see what works. See what works, yeah. All right, it's so let's shoot for that. Well, Thursday. you should be done mailing hay by then. Oh, <laughs> second cutting. No, uh -huh. third, oh, third cutting, maybe. Maybe a third, third. cutting. All right. Hello. <laughs> <You're> rolling. <laughs> it doesn't rolling. happen that often, yeah. but if it does, rolling. you got to you got to make hay while the sun shines. That's all, all right. I have to say about that. All right. Yeah. And I'll talk to the board too and see. Okay. Well, thank you. you know. And that's that's a week after because the board meetings are Wednesday after our meetings, so that. I think the board meetings are the second Wednesday. Right. Yes. So that everybody will be fresh off meetings so. and have a week. Okay. It's just hard to get everybody's schedule to work. Yeah. So I will check with her and I will let you guys know. Thank you. Thanks for setting that up. You're welcome. All right. Mara, you had a couple okay. things, a master plan implementation. Yeah, it was just uh, kind of, was not just similar to what Mark was bringing up about who's in charge of this, in that in our master plan, um, under the implementation section, it, it mentions planning commission as facilitators. So this is, you know, just copied it, it's right out of the master plan. And I was going to read it. It just said that a planning commission is charged with overseeing plan implementation as and is empowered to make ongoing land use decisions. Then skipping down a little bit. The planning commission plays a strong role as plan facilitator, overseeing the process and monitoring its progress and results. Together, township staff and the planning commission must be held accountable, ensuring the township's master plan impacts daily decisions and actions by its many stakeholders. And I thought, you know, that to me that's really very important. And, like, how do we do that? I mean, there's a lot of things to be thinking about, such as, you know, future land use. In other words, the things that are in the future when we're making daily decisions. And so I just thought that would be something that I wanted to throw out, that as a commission we should have a procedure so we know that we are thinking about the issue at hand, but also the future at all uh, times. And then that kind of leads me to the second thing I wanted to mention was about the, the site plan questionnaire. It came up recently where, um, uh, particularly with the winery, where some of the things we wanted answered really weren't asked. And so I thought that maybe that could be updated to maybe have some of those uh, but one, to make it more efficient for the people that are applying, so we get the questions we need answered, but also there might be uh, things in there that would be like ticklers for us into the future plan. Like, so in other words, we always ask, you know, is, how, what is the zoning? You know, what are the neighbors, you know, how are they zoned? Maybe we then say, what is the future map show for this piece? You know, just in other words, it's not influencing, just so it's right in front of us, that that might be a simple way of, that's how we're always thinking about the future. So I guess what I'm getting at is I'm wondering if we should look at that form since it did come up um, to review it to see if maybe we need to just tweak a couple of uh, things on that application. And that might be all we need to do to, to, to be as facilitators in implementing the master plan. Do we need to set up a, a generic <clears throat> set of questions? It might be. I mean, it could It could be. And I'm almost thinking that, like, one thing that would have helped with the winery one was, are the, um, look, when looking at the ordinance, has everything been addressed in this document? And, and some of the things, some of the questions, there were a couple of things that weren't questions that were asked, but were in the ordinance. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why, you know, we wondered, well, where is it? Well, it's not on the application, but it is in the ordinance. So it might be just a couple of tweaks of questions. So I thought, I just wanted to throw those things out there as a discussion. So I'd like to make two comments. One regarding your first, regarding the master plan and our, our involvement with the master plan. So 
if you look at what we do on a regular basis, it's react. We react to demands, mm -hmm. and typically the the document that we most often refer to is the ordinances, right? Does this fit within this? Th those are our governing rules. The master plan kind of overlays over that as guidance to make sure that whatever those set of conditions are within that request are not incompatible with our master plan. I think, so what you're saying in, in, in reading that um, more literally, it implies that we're proactive in the, in the implementation of the master plan, but I would argue that what that's saying is we always need to keep the master plan in mind and it's our, our governing uh, overarching document, but it's not something in which we take direct action to. I think if we, in cities where there are more, where there's more heavy development pressures, then the master plan comes into where you're doing large redevelopments of parcels, but we do a lot of one-off special land use redevelopment, maybe a little rezoning here and there, but you know, our, our efforts are very light and typically the ordinance the ordinances provide us what we need. Um, if somebody came in and said, hey, I'd like to take this large chunk of ag and develop it, then now we got to really look at the master plan and look at, hey, does this fit? go counter to that? So um, I, I understand your point, but I would, I would ask maybe to look at it from the perspective of, I, I don't think you use the master plan in a proactive sort of way. We're not going in and proactively rezoning something to say we want to create, uh, let's say, uh, a natural feature thoroughfare for animals as an example. We would react to it if somebody proposed something that would have a negative impact on that. So whether it's natural features or water, you know, watersheds, etc. So that that's just a different perspective on that, that matter. So with that perspective, is there something that you would suggest that we could do more as a planning commission relative to the master plan? Yeah, I, yeah I'd have to kind of mull that over a little bit. Okay. Because it, um, but I guess it doesn't change that. I still think that that application... Um, so that one, yeah. I agree. I kind of break that. That's a second thing. I do agree that... The questionnaire can be improved. Every, every, all of our documentation can always be improved, whether it's the ordinances mm -hmm. or the, the, the uh, questionnaire or the application. <clears throat> so the one challenge that we would have to, to consider all the potential special land uses in a single document, because think about, let's take the two most recent ones, a wedding, a wedding winery. venue, mm -hmm. and the winery. winery. <laughs> There are unique circumstances under both of those that could not be all included in a single document. So I think the document covers the 80-20 kind of rule. It covers the 80% of things that are in just about every special land use. And then a dog kennel versus a winery versus have then some unique items within that ordinance that could not, could not and I don't think should not, be in a generic questionnaire, unless we had a questionnaire or an application for every potential special land use. So I think it's it, not, again, not to say it couldn't be improved upon. And what I would suggest we do, we can, and this is something that used to occur more often, and I, the, the state, my suggestion is that we request of LSL to evaluate the questionnaire because in the end, LSL is kind of the first pass filter. Did we meet for this given application? Boom, 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 boom. They give us back. That's their job is to provide us that checklist. So I think they should align that checklist to the questionnaire to make sure that the majority of the questions are on. I remember the applicant can say not, not applicable, and mm -hmm. you may feel it is applicable. So that may be some of the things. Because, again, under the last one, they said they didn't even need a site plan review. So initially, they submitted no site plan review, so we had to go back. And so, but again, remember, like, like you were saying, like this is generic to try to catch everything. Some is applicable, some isn't. Mm -hmm. And that's where 
the standards under special land use brings out the major concerns that you have for that use. And hopefully the site plan has addressed that, but it hasn't. It's already been addressed in the special land use standards and requires that you set forth. Um, but yeah, it's hard to try to do, because you don't want to have, well, is this the right site plan for this one, or is this the right site plan? We have a site plan, we have a sketch plan. Those have been sketch plans because they're existing buildings, they're minor impact. Why well, have them required to hire an architect for five, ten thousand dollars when really there's nothing out there for them to do? Mm -hmm. But if someone wasn't coming and built on a corner of a gas station, obviously that's going to require all kinds of requirements with a site plan that's not a sketch plan. Yes. So architectural signatures and everything's going to be on that. Um, to go back to the application, it does have where it stipulates master plan what it would be, what the master plan is for that property. But it's just a line. Right. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's no problem to try to update those and correct those when things were missing, but really the site plan is driven by what the special land use that stipulates in that too. Correct. So we want to make sure that we try to cover. And if you have something, that no problem. But you always have the right to request additional information that's not presented because you're making the decision and you're doing your due diligence. So even if it's not there, so yeah. we just want to get it. Right now, you see it's, it's five or six pages. Right, right. It gets too long and pretty soon they really are missing important stuff because they're just trying to get through it as fast as they can, unfortunately. Four things we have out here. Big commercial developments. They got persons that that's all they do is their applications. So they're right. different out here where mostly it's the owner occupants trying to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, no, it, don't ever hesitate to try to come on and try to update something or form a committee to see if there's some things we can do to tweak any section of the ordinance. No problem. So, I'm open. Does anybody else have any thoughts or... Well, I, I, yeah, like Dave, like um, Dave said, we got to be, we got to be, be flexible. I think the reason this uh, winery um, was a small operation; it was agricultural. Uh, if we had a commercial development, we would we would have required they have a registered professional to further documents. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if they would have you know, fifty thousand barrels. Or a year compared to yeah. 2,500, big difference in yeah. the operation. You know, I mean, they, 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 are, they are changing the land. You know, the reason you want a big detail professional survey and all that miscellaneous stuff is they're changing the land surface. The people aren't changing the land surface. It was just to make use of the existing, existing they had. But I, I understand it. It did, I, gotta, I agree, it did, it, did, it did look jerky. But but that's that's all right. That's all right. They they they, they did their best AutoCAD. I mean I can, I can't even draw that good on the computer. <laughs> you know, I gave up on that stuff. Uh, so it's sort of yeah, we got to be flexible. I don't you know what what's really go, what's really going to come into this township the, while we're talking about the future. You know, nothing's happened. What what what's happening, Dave? Uh, the, the, we've got we, we've got, we've got we have lots we're building. We're filling in existing lots. There's no developments. We have maybe ten commercially zoned business lots. Yeah. yeah. So I mean that's that's about the the the, the extent of anything that you would have yeah. somebody coming in new that would put a store yeah. or put a which the population isn't going to support, support something like that. So I wouldn't see that. I'm surprised Phil's whatever it is now is. And as far as the residential development is concerned, the only one we got is that Eagle yep. Davisburg Road that has been sitting there since 2005 or six. Yep. I might point out the other, the other similar like site that I look at over on uh, in White Lake or Springs, White, uh, White Lake Township is uh, Rose Center Road and the roundabouts. Um, they, they, they require that a well, they have a well system put in. It's been sitting there since 2006, 2007. Well, it is. It is starting to infill. Mm -hmm. It really it's booming. It's really yeah, filling it in. But I'm it's waiting for some action to take up here at Davisburg Road. Or there, there is a realtor the group that ended up getting it from. It went from bankruptcy to a bank to a group of doctors. And I talked to the realtor, George Bush. That's how I remember his name. George <laughs> Bush, the realtor. And they're trying to sell lots. They have to understand we have a consent judgment. So they've already got. They won't be coming back to you guys. It's right. each individual. Sorry, done, right. It's said judgment has a lot of different things on it. Then the setbacks are different than what our ordinance says. The lot 
cops are different because it was a legal action. So if you look and say, what the heck's going on? I can get you a copy of the consent judgment. So yeah, it's and he knows that's what the rules they got to follow is that court order consent judgment. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's, it, that's been a long set something. I think we're in court for three or four years on it. Even. Okay. Dave, do you know how many lots are in there? There's a, I'm, I'm trying to remember, there's 57 or 58 lots, but 53 or 54 developed lots. There's a lot of open space. And for some reason, two or three of the parts ended up getting lot numbers, or two or three didn't get lot numbers. <laughs> Don't understand that. But okay. Yeah, so there's about over 50. I'll say over 50 to be safe, yeah. Okay. They're all, the, the, the roads are very inaccessible yeah. wearing cores. Right. Utilities are, are, aren't there. There's areas set aside for them. So, yeah, it's, it's still a long way before they get anybody in there to develop a house or build a house. So back to Tamara, to your point about the, the questionnaire, the application for special land use and uh, site plan review or sketch plan review. If, if there are specific things that you'd like to see changed, if you want to go through that. I, uh, unfortunately, with the, with the winery, I, it's, it's always the, it's a bad place to be the first, right? There was a lot of things going on there and a lot of questions that um, I think everyone was a little bit concerned of the nature of the, the request, not the request, but the use. And I think everyone was, and rightfully so, really cautious. So I guess I wouldn't use that one as, as the benchmark for all applications. I generally think it's working, but it can all, everything can always be improved. So if you, was there anything specifically that you thought should be improved? Yeah, I couldn't remember the exact uh, thing, but I just remember there being something that um, was said that, oh, it wasn't on the application. Correct. It wasn't, but it was in the ordinance. And I thought, you know, because a lot of them are, are kind of the but, same thing. But we know? have to be cautious that for every ordinance related to a special land use, there are unique circumstances for every one of those. Right. And they, they, they weren't on the application and probably wouldn't be because they don't, they're not applicable to most. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm thinking that if, if they're like, just like an additional thing, you know, are there anything, you know, related that, you know, you, that we should know about or something, you know what I'm saying? Well, In other words, if you, if Why don't you review the application and see if you can tie those two things together to help us? Specifically, if there's some yeah. specific. No, I mean, if no one else, I mean, I just, that that's how it, it occurred to me. Yeah. But if, it, if no one else thinks that, it's not worth it. No, I remember the application expressing frustration, right. and rightfully so, <laughs> because I, hate to, I think a lot of it was tied to, unfortunately, we just developed the ordinance, and now we had the first thing, and right. we New were planner. tripping over ourselves a little bit, and that's okay. We were working through it, mm -hmm. I would think. I, I don't attribute that to the application per se. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's worth it then. It, I'm certainly, open to any suggestions. Just to just to go back to that other point about the what's in our master plan. Then, so if the commission is more of you know a reactive, um, so this really is is not correct then. Is well, it's it, to me, it's the interpretation of how it's read. The proactiveness is we develop it, mm -hmm. and we try to do our best okay. to, to do a forward-looking yeah, okay. plan. That's our yeah, yeah. proactive aspect mm -hmm. to it. Everything else that we deal with in the five years between the updates is we, we're reacting to circumstances in the township. Okay. So and using this as our guidance and, and the ordinance as our guidance. Yeah, this is, this is what yeah, that master plan, anybody that wants to come in and do something in the township, they better read that first because that's what we're saying must be done. Must, or it should any, conform, must, to must conform, conform to that. Right. Mm -hmm. Then if they want to have any variances, then there's other routes for them to take uh, to change it. But that, that's our best best cut of what we believe the... It maintains the, the rural character the, and it maintains our natural et cetera, yeah. Yeah. To me, the predominant thing about that master plan and we've always talked about it since the 1990s, is that the south half of the township should remain egg, period, 10-acre parcels, before the northern half of the township 
is populated. And the logic behind that is if, if it's going to be high density at the north end of the township, they're going to require water and sewer services. And Holly Township is there. There's nothing south of here to take care of water and sewer. So that's always been the premise of this master plan. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I just showed, uh, I just uh, went through my file that I found, the, oh, I found the old master plan from 1993. <laughs> and it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. We're still we're still standing firm on our uh, on the total overall philosophy of the development of the township. So, and just to reinforce, Glenn, did, there is there's one property in Rose Township that's on well and septic. It's the first house that's in Rose, just outside of Holland. Oh, there is one. There is a. There's just one house, one property, and that's the first one when you come in. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Don't know how they got it, but they did. Yeah. And that's the only one in the township. And see the other thing that's the, we we have zoning one one and a half acre parcels. Yes. Uh, number one, number two, um, they got to get a septic tank and tile field. That can be a plus or a minus. So they'll, they'll never be. There has to be a master explosion of revision to go to half acre lots. Probably take legal. And that will never. I, I don't believe that's ever going to take place in this. That's that's why we're situated where we're at. We have no we have no ingress egress corridors, you know. So, but that's always been the plan since the nineties, anyway. So, and this, this is just being published and reiterated. So when someone, some when I moved out here first, I asked for the master plan, see what's going on. I'm sure I'm not not develop. I have no intention to develop. But anybody wants to come out this way, that they 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 know well. They better find out what the township master plan is. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Mara. Thanks for bringing up all those points. I learned a lot. That's why I said all right. this to you. <laughs> all set there? Yep. Get up here. All right. So, Mr. Noble, any anything going on new with the uh, township board? No, the township board is really uh, happy that we're, we're, we're completing some things. It's been five, been five, ten years, and the, this uh, this group has done an excellent job. And, uh, Good dialogue that the and the court members here. Anything that comes up in the future, I think the township board can have good faith that it's going to be well deliberated and uh, and make a recommend good appropriate recommendation forthcoming. So, so with that, I think that you know, for the township board's concerned, the planning commission is on call. You know, but you as you develop things, come up, you should initiate them and bring it over. But excellent, yeah. Good. Thank you. Turn it over to the planner. Close in. Our next, <laughs> yeah, planner, planner. That's right, Mark. <laughs> our next meeting, uh, we talked earlier, we'll probably move that out to August. Uh, cancel the July 5th meeting. So is, it August, is it August 2, percent? August 9th. Well, August 9th. Okay. Isn't it? No, August 2nd. August 2nd? Mm -hmm. August 2nd. Right. August 2nd. Okay. You're right. And then potentially the 16th for training. Right. And with that, I will open the meeting to the public. You are the public. So if you could just please state your name and have at it. Well, I just look for reflections on the idea of the master plan. Would you mind stepping to the podium, please? Can I sit? Would be all right? We can't hear you. I'll speak up. You can't get... It, it won't record you. I'm having a, a real struggle with sciatic nerve. Oh. You don't mind that? Uh, okay. 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 Well, for you. You guys know me, Marilyn Lee Carson's Hickory Ridge Road, 8880. So I just had a little reflection on the idea of the master plan. So in 1980, um, it was really clearly understood that the master plan, it had been a long time since it had been, well, since it really was a true and considered master plan. But it was only a guideline. That was a common and a reoccurring statement that the master plan was just a guideline. So I think it's great. I mean, I think what's happened with it is very exciting and wonderful. I mean, it certainly reflects, you know, a lot of my ideals and recent speakers. So, but I just want to say that that was always well, that master plan. Developers would come in. Um, I had the fortune of sitting on that master plan um, citizen group at that time. 
And um, many developers would say, w would argue so many of those points that were in there. Um, the board was, at that time, uh, acknowledgement was it was just, you know, it was really just a guideline. So now it's, it's become much more. There's a mission, there's a goal, there's a vision, and that seems to come to fruition in a really great way. So, I, I mean, I commend you and commend the, um, all the work that's been done. And then, um, I, would, I will say that I think still 50% or more people come in and don't even consider the master plan. They just find their way out here, whether through a realtor or, you know, whatever, just love it and think it's beautiful and kind of maybe check the meeting mirror, but they're not looking. So, it would, I think it would be really good to be more connected with the, the whole real estate, you know, community and realm. Um, and encourage them to have customers, potential residents, see that. Know that that's a reality for the world, that there's a strong master plan that has a vision and ideals involved. Okay. I have some new neighbors really put some big money in some, some of their places, and they weren't really thinking about the master plan. <laughs> But, I mean, they're happy with their, their land that they have, and they're, they're investing their, you know, their lives in different places. Other thoughts, too. But thanks. Yeah, I, um, I don't think that many people, it, it, any way we can promote it and make it more, more widely visible, available for people to see. And, and the other thing is, so will there be that, the, the booklet, the compilation available for people for the public hearing? For the parks and yes. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So that'll be available here at the township office for public viewing and review. And yeah, please take a look. We appreciate your input. Yeah, and I think at our meeting, the board meeting, even next week, it's really important to, to stress it even more than than has been. You know, by any means on the board. Good point. To stress that's happening and, and encouraging citizens. Yeah. You know, participation because it's sadly lacking. Like, no, you know, I think last. It's too bad. It's too bad because there's a lot to, to learn. You know, sitting here and at the board meetings, there's a lot to you know to learn and see. I think last time around, it's a little bit of a function of our planner, our hired planner. They, we did. Uh, we had a public day at Rose Pioneer, mm -hmm. and um, but unfortunately, as you mentioned, in the end. The people that are engaged will always be engaged, like in any organization. And then they're, so we do our best to try to keep it open and public, and, and we could probably do a little bit better job of promotion. But Well, that, that thing, that whole marketing and promotion thing, you know, it has its benefits, not just, you know, when you're selling products, but when you're selling, you know, ideology, and so when you're selling something that's important to so many people. Yes. Yeah, I think our, our job is to educate, maybe not so much promote. Our job is not to promote, it's to... Well, promote's not a, it's not a bad word, you know, it's not, a, it's not an evil thing, it's just, it's encouragement, really. You take promoting into the idea of encouraging and engaging your community. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, it's, sometimes it's messy. That's a good point. But, you know, we're all terrible, that's the important word, you know, I mean, just in, in, the, in this township, in this... County and our state were shareholders, and I think we, as, you know, the board, we don't want that to be lost sight. So, as shareholders, we ask that you spread the word and, and engage our fellow citizens and free stuff. I'm going to jump up. Oh. What's wrong with the word? Back in '94, <laughs> now, this park and recreation, and in 2012, well, I took a trip through Baker's Park, and it's always been, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, but it never happens. And it seems like we're going to have to get the younger generation in, we're going to have to start something where we can get the younger in. But if we keep putting these plans out here and just develop Dearborn Park, and not the rest of the parks. Just because somebody wants to push this. Now, let's stick with the whole thing. 
Because Baker hasn't been Dutch since 94. Where's Baker? That's when Allison Boyce did it as a Hegel project. Baker is. Uh, and there's some nice sites that you can walk through down there. But we have to get the township together. And the township is dividing. I've been here too long. And there's things that I'd like to see done and be pushed for it. But we need the younger generation to. And that's you guys and the township board. And you guys done one hell of a job on this. And it takes time, effort, and a little setback and say, we have to listen to. But I appreciate what you guys have done and like the fire department. You know, they put a lot of time and effort in. So have you guys. But it's going to go to waste if you don't stand behind it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, thank you both for providing your comments and input. It's, we value that very much. So, thank you. And with that, I'll close the public portion of the hearing. I look for a motion Can to adjourn. a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll second that motion. <laughs> All right, we have a motion to adjourn and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Well, it's draft five. Where are we moving? To the left. There's a pad right there.